the funny thing, so Sedacious, who Sedacious believes in is the Cowboys. They lost in the first round of a wild card weekend. Who Sedacious doesn't believe in Josh is Josh Allen. <laughs> right on cue. Dude, what's coming? <laughs> but we'll what's start. Coming? Uh, don't interrupt Sedacious. Sedacious, the four yards, start with the Cowboys. <laughs> I <just> think, uh, <laughs> Um, I want to go on record saying that I said this and kind of like in the middle of the season. And I just, Dak Prescott is just a scared little explicit words here, bro. It's just, I'm sorry. It's just I, that ankle, bro. I guess something about seeing your ankle go the opposite way that, that, that make you not the same QB. You know what I mean? Like, I've seen it happen with Tony Romo. It's like after that first back injury, he never really was – I'm sorry, neck injury. He wasn't the same after that, and it didn't matter what hurt him. So, I blame it on that. I ain't going to lie. Um, that's it, man. We just didn't step up. We paid him his money. And and also, the defense couldn't stop the run. Yeah, I'm and about to say I- – <laughs> That's a recipe for disaster if your defense can't stop it and your offense can't score. And I'm 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 surprised that we lost by as little as we did with how well we stunk. I was uh my question to you about Dak is they start a uh, deep in Dak, right? Started off very hot at the beginning of the season. And he was like, damn, that boy gonna come back and try to take the MVP. And so, obviously, the season is 17 games long. It's not just six games, a uh, six-game stretch. Considering what everybody saw in the beginning of the season with Dak and what everybody was saying, at that point in time, there was no injury or ankle talk. It was just like, oh, fam, like, supremely healthy, and he's ready to go, and he's, like, firing on all cylinders. So, for you as a Cowboys fan, having that hot start, when does it go from, oh, he's healthy and he's up to par to, well, maybe it's the ankle and then all of a sudden. Because, mind you, he still threw for over 45 or four, at least 4,000 yards. And you got Omari and you got CD both with 1,000 yards. So, I mean, are you just trying to give him some cushion to find something to lean on him? Like, maybe it's the ankle or, like, what? No, that Prescott for me has always been a double threat. You would say I always felt like – He threw it good enough, and he was a mobile quarterback. Dak Prescott was in no way mobile this whole season. You know what I mean? And so I feel like that, him being able to win physical games, when teams that are physical and, like, they're stopping the run, like, now we got to do something else. You know what I mean? And Dak, you are not Tom Brady where you can sit back there untouched and then just pick the defense off. You know what I'm saying? Your old line. They ain't, you know, they're going to break down on you. You only got so long to make a decision. And then you take too long before you break away or decide that you want to try to extend the play, and then we get a sack. You know what I'm saying? We go from third and five to, like, fourth and 15 because you think you're Tom Brady when really a part of your game, the part of the reason why you were a threat the way you were was not because of just your arm. It was because you could extend plays or you could pick up first down with your legs. And it was like that decision to be a mobile quarterback, it was like he decided, no, I'm not going to do that. If we can't win with scheme and me figuring out defenses and figuring out the holes and the run game, then we're not going to win with me being mobile. And that's why I feel like that he ain't the same. Um, um, to piggyback- he ain't the same because he just, it actually takes away from his game. I was going to say to, to kind of piggyback off that a little bit, I, I would give that a little bit of grace due to the fact that Joe Burrow just got off a catastrophic knee as well. And Joe Burrow, as we all can, I think, universally agree on, he was definitely mobile coming out of college, right? Joe Burrow um, he definitely used his legs in order to get out of a lot of trouble, more athletic than, you know, um, the average quarterback, most definitely. And then him being white, this is Joe Burrow I'm talking about. Um, 
he, you know, but when he suffered the knee injury, um, if you look at Joe Burrow's rushing yards this year, they're significantly down, not because he doesn't have the confidence, but it kind of takes more than a year for you to kind of get back and be your normal self, right? So I would say if Dak Prescott isn't moving around, you know, this time next year, you know, as he did a couple years, you know, before, then, yeah, I think you would have some validity to your conversation. But I think it's a credit to what you're saying on why the Cowboys lost. Debo Samuel and Elijah Mitchell had their f***ing way, along with that O-line. Um, I think that O-line was able to uh, dominate uh, the point of attack and dominate the line of scrimmage with the run game. And I think from there, the 49ers had that team, right, to where if they get up on you, it's a recipe for disaster because they, at that point, they're going to play keep away, right? Because they can run the ball so good, um, they're going to play the time of possession game with you, and which I believe, if I look at the numbers uh, from Sunday, they definitely dominated uh, time of possession against the Cowboys. The Cowboys were really trying to struggle to find a rhythm all night due to the fact they got down early too quick. So, basis. Uh, are you giving that more time or you tried and true to that's being your quarterback or you have you decided to disown the Cowboys? Like, where are you at in terms of your... Oh, no, never that, man. I'm uh, I'm dying with the boys. It sucks, but it is what it is. It's a for life thing. It's sad to say I'm used to this. You know what I mean? I'm going to get over it pretty quickly. Not as quickly as normal games because this was the playoffs and we did have somewhat of a shot. But, yeah, I'm still around with him. As it comes to Dak, bro, either you're going to get your film study up and you're going to get to the Peyton Manning, Aaron Rodgers type, or you need to find a way to be able to work your legs back into your game, man, because nobody's scared of you just throwing the ball. I'm sorry, Dak. I, I love you, but I'm here to tell you, bro, like, I'll play if I'm playing defense, I'm not scared of you just sitting back there trying to attack me. You have to make me feel like I have to cheat up forward for you to get that reactive play off me. And that's it. Other than that, you know, I can stop Zeke. You know, I can stop Pollard, and that's it. You ain't gonna you're not just gonna just laser us off the field. Pollard may need to be RB1 next year, but that's another conversation for another day. How do y'all it's a lot I want to unpack, and I, but I want to get to a lot uh, with, uh, the, with, the, with the Bills and the Cardinals. But ball on the 41, 14 seconds left. Ball near midfield on the 41. Quarterback draw. What are your thoughts on that sedation and how they unfolded? I thought it was horrible. Yeah, I thought it was just, I don't know, just a brave fart or something. I don't know how you don't know that you're not going to be able to get tackled, get up, and have the referee spot the ball to run a play. It's just how you don't know that. But it is what it is, bro. The I Cowboys do. always want to decide to fight when it's too late. And, you know, hey. It did not be, well, I'm sorry. I know you was trying to time, time in on this. Just real quick. No, I, I think, think the coach we, we just continue. You got it, bro. I made the cup. I made the coach press triangle. That's all I was gonna say. Oh, <laughs> the coach. <press> triangle. <laughs> I made the coach press triangle. Like I meant to press square. I pressed triangle. Wrong play. Nah, really. They're trying to run the hurry up on the you know, man and throw around. Yeah, exactly. Nah, exactly. but Dak is smarter than that. But I mean, come on, Mike McCarthy, notoriously known for not being able to manage a game. And you marry that with, hey, you know, this is the Cowboys culture. You marry that with, you know, that coming off the gruesome ankle injury and sprinkle a little bit of Cowboy in there and there you go. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of angel dust, a little bit of Cowboy yeah, dust. Man. <laughs> Blue and magic. Boy, you get booted right up out of there, man. But uh, don't worry. Aaron Rodgers will, uh, will have his revenge. For you, for you, cowboy uh, fanboys out there. So, yeah, uh, we'll wait today to come back before we get on uh, 
on Joshy Josh. Bro, what happened with the cards is though? Um, in my defense, bro, I actually I know you to think, oh. I, I did say I wanted to pick the Rams to win. I had in my heart because I did say if DeAndre Hopkins, you said, I did that. Say, you said that exact those exact words. You try right, you're right. I said if DeAndre did not play, I said it's gonna be a long day for the Cardinals, and I do see them losing if DeAndre do, it doesn't play. And the reason I said that is because one, I know for a fact. Jalen Ramsey was going to travel with DeAndre wherever he went, right? So he's going to take that best cover guy that the Rams have back there as opposed to him being on arguably the best receiver in the league. You got him on who Christian Kirk, AJ Green got hurt for a little while. Come on, bro. That's clamps. That's like straight jacket, bro. You, that's a recipe for Fucking disaster, like for the Cardinals standpoint, because you think about it. Aside from you know, AJ Green had his you know eight year run being the number one receiver in Cincinnati, but outside of that, man, Cardinals don't have a definitive number one. So Jalen Ramsey is literally having a field day. He don't have to travel with nobody, mm-hmm. and you you marry that with Von Miller on the edge and Aaron Donald just being a bully, quite literally on the field. Come on, man. Cardinals couldn't do Cardinals couldn't do a damn thing. 